you want to ask me a question? I'm no, you're just you're so pretty. <laughs> okay, so hi. Hi. <laughs> so you literally just went viral in August of 2020, and here we are in March of 2021. First of all, how has your life changed? Everything, literally everything. I used to be on the dance team at my high school. I used to be, oh, I used to be in leadership at my high school. I would dance from like 3 to 9 p.m. every night. So that was literally my life, school and dance. And then I grew up during quarantine, and now I have like deals and stuff. So it's like time making money, you know what I mean? Make that check. Yeah. <laughs> Backing up, what was that one moment that like actually became viral? Do you remember? Okay, so I did a dance to walk, and I was like, like literally just shaking my belly. And it was my very first video on this account and people started commenting like overnight because I was asleep while I was said it. So right. I went back to the video and it had like 400K, something like that. And people were like, this made me feel so much better about myself. And I was like, oh, what? Because like, I didn't think that it was like deep. You know what I mean? I was just like, I don't care. I'll post whatever. And then everyone was like, thank you so much for like showing what uh, like a natural body after like eating looks like and like being bloated. How many followers did you have before you went to bed? Eight. And how many did you have when you woke up? 200k. Wow. Like I was like on a good kind of roll. I was getting like a few hundred k views on my videos, and then I posted this one. I'm like I don't know, just like being silly. Or like that video ended up getting. I think it's my highest view video. I think it's like 72 million views right now. Holy yeah. smokes. So that that is like what kind of like went up up. Did you know anything about the body positive world before you started posting about? your stomach and your body or anything like that? I had never really like looked into like the movement. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like I like the movement found me. I don't and it was honestly really organic. Like it, it wasn't meant to be like, oh I'm gonna join this movement. It was like, wow, like I just fit in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean it hasn't even been a year. You have your family as support. Has anybody given you any tips? Have you even needed it? <sighs> I <laughs> No, I have to say, like, it's good. I, I didn't have anybody that was guiding me. I, for me, it was trial and error. Yeah, that's what, right? that's what I feel like it is. But that's okay. That's okay. Because I think that other people need to know that you don't need someone <laughs> holding your hand. You just yeah. do it. Well, because TikTok, too, was, is so new mm -hmm. that no one really knew what they were doing. Right. So it was like, I was post and I'd be like, okay, what does well, what doesn't. Yep. And it's like when I met people and like got to like, get to know people, obviously I would get advice and yeah. I would kind of feel in my gut, do I do I think that's accurate? Like, do, am I gonna yeah. take that or not? Which is like human. But I have to say, I love this answer though. Cause this is, this is what I think kids your age need to hear because sometimes they just don't want to do anything and they think things are going to be handed to them, but you're working hard. I used to wake up and like, I used to be mad at myself that I didn't post enough content the day before to blow up. What do you think you know? is missing on your phone? What's missing? Yeah, what's missing? It's just kind of a negative plate. Like it's become more toxic because people are behind the screen and they can say what they want without getting any punishment for it. I know there's always going to be mean people, but I feel like it's gotten worse Worse on TikTok. It's so weird because I just joined TikTok like last month mm -hmm. and I felt like it was such a nice place compared to Instagram. I, I, I'm now shocked to hear you say that because I felt like Instagram was, it was nice and, and you, you have a few bullies here and there. Um, but then on TikTok, I mean, I haven't really had much like hardcore hate, mm -hmm. but I have seen it on other people's That's pages. Totally. Because I, I too, no, I totally understand what you mean because I really relate to what you just said. I really don't get much like backlash and I, I'm very like supported and I love to support and I think it's kind of like the energy you got there of what you get back. Mm -hmm. But I have seen on my friends' accounts and even like some of the biggest creators' accounts like just so just like mean things. I'm just like, why? 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 What made you say that? You know what I mean? That's like kind of like where we are in society. I think it's like we love to hate people. We love to tell people exactly how we feel. We love to be like professional doctors behind a screen. <laughs> we also love to tell people like who we want them to be and not allow people to be who they want to be. And I think you're right. Like we need to always stand up for the people who that we follow that are following us. And there needs to be a new culture of acceptance. I think it's like a mob mentality too. Cause something I've noticed is like- You say mob or mom? Mob. Got it. Not one person isn't gonna come at you and be like, bah. Like it's like, 
oh, like you think that too? Okay, let's let's do that as a group. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a mob mentality. If one person does it, and then it gets other people on board, then they'll do it all together because they have validation that it's right and that's what everyone else thinks. But no one individually is gonna go be me because it's like that would look bad on them and that would just be me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if that made sense, but like that's no, it how totally it makes, makes sense, sense in my it head. It makes sense, yeah. You know what I mean? What are your dreams for the next five years? I'm dropping a bathing suit line. You know that. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Wait, what kind of swimsuits are you doing? Whatever fits you mm -hmm. is like what we're gonna encourage. So it's like okay. there's not just one suit that's like this, this is what you everyone. need, this size fits all. It's gonna be from like extra extra small to extra extra large and you can like customize your suit to your fitting and I love suits and finding a good suit is kind of difficult. Yeah. And then five years, I don't know, I definitely want to be living in LA. Um, acting. Active. Do you want to be an acting? Actor? Yeah, what do you want to do? I don't know. I mean like, I feel like there's just such a huge stigma around like TikTokers going into the actual industry. But, like I really want to. I, I'm not a singer, but I am a dancer and I love dancing and I want to do dance. You know, acting is really fun too. I've talked to like people about acting, but it's nothing's happening right now. I really wish I knew how to answer that question, but I no, want to be active and just be around and busy and still here and yeah. That's good. I don't do you think there's, I, there's not a right answer. Really? Yeah. Do you have any advice for me to do in five years? Anything I should know? Well, I think that the best thing to do for yourself is to create a vision board. That's like the only thing that's actually gonna put all of your ideas into one place in front of you. And for myself, I'm so like ADD where I've got like this idea and that idea. And if I if I don't write it down or at least like do something where I've cut out an image that reminds me of like that one dream or goal that I have every day, I'm gonna forget about it. And when I was your age, I didn't realize that this is a business. When I was your age, I was just like, if I wanted to quote make it, it was like to pay my rent. And after I was able to pay my rent, then I was able to pay my taxes, and I was able to pay my rent and my taxes, I could eat whatever food I wanted, and then I could like, you know, wear whatever outfits I wanted. I was like, oh wow, this is a business. Yeah, it's more than just like, you know, smiling and being like a cute girl in a catalog. Yeah. And so you will see that that is gonna happen for you, but you have to ask yourself now and not put pressure on yourself, but just ask yourself, what else do you want? Because you can really have it all, but mm -hmm. what is all for you? Well, I, thank you. No, I definitely wanna branch out of just like the influencer world and kind of become more of like in the industry and like doing professional work or not just like, doing like branded posts, but like doing movies and like doing like shoots and runway walks and like, I don't, there's just so much potential, but it's just difficult right now because you yeah. can't do anything in yeah. person, but it seems like it's like opening Things up. are changing. So things Slowly. are changing. Yeah. And you have to also remember to not put pressure on yourself that it's supposed to happen right now. It all pays off. Everything you do, everything you touch, everything that you're trying to create and do now is gonna pay off in the next five years. So just don't stop doing, just keep making. That's my motto. Get ready, because it'll probably get even crazier than it is now. And if you can even <laughs> imagine what that means, it can. But then, also remind yourself, when you're in a lull, and there's literally no one calling you, and you have nothing going on, don't freak out. And remember, this is my time to just rest, because it's about to get crazy again. It doesn't matter who you speak to. It can be the biggest supermodel in the world, a TikToker, I don't know, an actor, somebody behind the scenes, a photographer, a director. They all say the same thing. You will have these like highs in your career, and then all of a sudden you will have these lows. And the low isn't a low. Just because nobody's calling doesn't mean that you're not the hot next thing. It just means like this is your time to rest, and it's also your time to create for yourself because you're your own boss and you're your own manager as far as like when it comes to like what you want for who you are, as Sienna. So just take that time to really do what you want to do and not what everybody else wants you to do. Who who told her who told her to say I am so in love with you right now. Aww. And also remember to take breaks because your mental health is very important. Like um, I really needed to hear that. Good, I'm so glad. I'm that so hit glad. deep. For yourself, you should just make non-negotiables for yourself. And like, I have to get this much rest. I have to eat like this kind of food. Like I have to work out or I have to meditate or I have to do yoga before I work or before like in a week. Like, what are your non-negotiables? 
Are you too I'm literally crying. I'm literally <laughs> crying right now. Like, I don't want to cry. I'm like, I'm literally Aww. crying. You're so tired and you need a break. I love you. <laughs> check out more on my channel make sure you subscribe you know the whole thing and also go to Sienna's channel cheers I like how you, she didn't intro it or outro I love that and she's like not like that's just so cute of me. <laughs>